Thank you so much for joining this lesson. We're going to continue with logarithms and indices. We are told to solve for x in the equation, the logarithm to base 8 of x plus 6 minus the logarithm to base 8 of x minus 3 equals to 2 thirds. I'm going to rewrite my expression such that I have the log to base 8 of x plus 6 then minus the logarithm to base 8 of x minus 3. This is equivalent to 2 thirds. But now at this point, I will introduce the logarithm of 8 to base 8. Since we know that uh, the logarithm of a number to the same base is equivalent to 1. And by introducing logarithm of 8 to base 8 on the right hand side, the value of 2 thirds is not affected. At that point, again, allow me to write it as the log of 8 x plus 6 minus the log to base 8 of x minus 3. This is equivalent to the log to base 8 of 8 power 2 thirds. This is because when we have n logarithm of a, this can be written as the logarithm of a power n. That is another law of logarithms. At this point now, allow me to introduce some indices whereby 8 power 2 that we can apply the fractional law of indices which says when we have a power a fractional index like m over n this can be solved by taking the nth root of a then we raise everything to power m and at that point we can say that uh, we will need 8 we obtain the third root of it, then now we square everything because 8 has been raised to a fractional power. And this is going to be the third root of 8 is 2, and when you square, we will get 4. So at this point, now we can rewrite our equation and have the logarithm to base 8 of x plus 6 minus the logarithm to base 8 of x minus 3. This is equivalent to the logarithm to base 8 of 4. So at that point, we will have a 4. And with this now, we can go to the laws of logarithms now. The second law of logarithm, which says that uh, when there is a subtraction, we can just divide the numbers. So we will just have x plus 6 divide by x minus 3. This is equivalent to the logarithm of 4 to base 8. This is because of the second law, which says the log of a number minus the log of another one. As long as the base is the same, this can be written as log of a out of b. Yeah, the log of a out of b. So that is what I have applied. So at this point now, I'll be having the logarithm. Uh, okay, because we cannot perform this division, allow me now drop all the logarithms and I quit the two sides now. x plus 6 out of x minus 3 is equivalent to 4. And when I cross multiply, because 4 is automatically over 1, then I'm going to have 4x minus 3 equivalent to x plus 6. 4x minus 12 is equivalent to x positive 6. And when we group like terms, 4x and x will become 3x equals to negative 12 now becomes positive on the other side so 6 plus 12 becoming 18 so that the value of x is equivalent to 18 out of 3 which is equal to 6 so thank you so much for following subscribe and share